hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm not going to add any new features new functions to my game but i'm going to do some kind of a cleaning up so for example in my i have been used something called magic types in my let me check yeah this magic type for to access properties like fire poison and frost and also after that when I wanted to implement the inventory system instead of this one I had to use something called resource types and so this one has more elements so today and also I decided to move out all the inventory related functions to the inventory blueprint because I have been used implemented some inventory related functions like arrow management inside my character blueprint so I want to get rid of that part and move them completely to the inventory so this part will be a little bit boring and a little bit tedious but still I'm going to do this because it is important it is very important to keep a clean architecture for your game otherwise as you progress in the development it will become messy and it will be harder for you to maintain your code so get ready for a longer episode right so let me open the inventory menu widget it's here right now let's work on updating these elements each element so right yeah I already have this inventory blueprint added to the character like this so this is the BP inventory and it's right here and when I update it yeah I have this event add to inventory so at the moment I am working only with arrows but I also have these other types as well so and I am already updating that counts in this resource counts uh, variable this is a map and we are in the first element I hold the resource type and in the next one I hold the count so if I can access this variable from my inventory widget then I can use that and update these texts so let's create a reference to this inventory from in the place where we create this inventory widget and I create this inventory widget and add to the viewport in my hard widget sorry in my game mode here right yeah actually in my hard widget 
so this is the hard digit and this is where wait this is where I create this inventory widget and here when I create this if I can access the player character and get the inventory I can set that variable if I have a variable for that or we can do it like this let's uh, open bpi character and here I'll add a new function get inventory oh I already have it and it returns this as an inventory actor alright so let's see how I have implemented it to see that I need to look into my player character and uh, no, I think it should be in chhuman under the interfaces yeah get inventory yeah I just return the inventory child object so using this one right so I have the player character I can get a reference to player character like this and let's take inventory and then yeah let's take a look at into uh, the inventory method so let's create a new method to return this resource counts variable And here I think I am using yeah I'm implementing this PPI inventory and I have this get resource count and update resource count right maybe uh, only using this I can implement my method so yeah we don't need to do this here we can just do it in the inventory widget but here I don't have a begin play event right so therefore I undo this one and I'll define a new variable in the widget inventory called pp inventory and the type of actor like this and then here I'll set pp inventory like this right and then in the widget I'll create a new uh, custom event update resource counters counters now here I'll use this one and if this is valid right so I need to make these texts 
variables otherwise I can't access them Right. Feather count, refine count, green count, red count, and I don't need these images as variables. So I'll disable is variable for those images. right now it's much clear and this top bar also I don't need it to be a variable right now let's get the blue count And in the inventory, let's use get resource count like this. And yeah, I need to set this one. Now get the text and set text like this in text convert to a variable convert to a text and set it and here I am using the resource index so instead of using resource index I want to yeah I need to add a new method uh, so here I should be able to use resource type so what if I just change this I should get errors in some other places so there I may have to fix them let's see when I press play I get errors in BP arrow and CH humor let's see where are these problems mm -hmm. yeah here I am implementing the BPI inventory on the CH human and I don't need that actually at the uh, because right now I have de passed those functions into the inventory object that I have attached to the character so I'll remove this one right now this should introduce more problems right let's just delete this and here we have a problem I'll fix it like this instead of getting the resource count from the character I need to get inventory first and then I need to get resource count from that and here instead of resource index I need to define the resource type so I need here I need to select 
those uh, magic types that I have so let's do a select like this and based on the index if the index is 0 it should be none and if the index is 1 the, this magic type should be fire otherwise poison and then frost and compile now ok here we need a target so let's use character right everything should be ok now no, we still have another problem in CH player. Let's see. Okay. Right, let's update these nodes. Well now this is a redundant event because I have passed these events to my inventory so I don't need this one, this one or this one right so let's fix them okay now here I can get inventory like this and then I can update resource count and instead of this resource index I need to change this one resource type didn't I already do that right mm -mm. And I do this, I think as I remember, I do this only to update the resource counters UI. Alright, I need the target. and I have to change my arrow function like this but now for some reason my arrow system is not working I don't have arrows okay now I collected arrows but I can't switch the arrows to fire arrows and other things let's see Alright, I haven't implemented this function. So let's find this type and return. Right. Uh, 
I think I don't have any fire elements or anything and my UI is not updating the fire element and other things if you notice here in the top left corner so that's because I haven't added that UI updating part to my inventory blueprint after moving inventory functions to the inventory blueprint from the character so let's implement update resource count method here like this so here I am do, doing this find the resource type and get the value plus the change I need to clamp it just in case if I no let's worry about that later and set the value wait add yeah add the value like this and then we need to update the UI so UI update well I can directly call this one as well add to inventory this type and this new value so here I have completed this update arrow count part but I haven't added these element updates so update under UI I have update resources count okay so for fire well here I am using the magic type and that is a problem so instead of magic type let me change this to resource type oh is it correct yeah why not now I think I will get some more errors in the places that I use this function let's check alright here we have an error let's refresh this right then we can directly call this well here we don't even need this switch we can directly call this with the count and the type all right well what's the error a very target connection okay I can go the heart and where else I have a rest 
and the VP hard. All right, let's see. Okay, so in the widget hard, I need to change this event instead of. Here I need it to use instead of magic type resource type. Right now, let's do the select again. So for the fire, this is fire and this is poison and this is frost. Now let's check. Right. Now it should be alright. And here also we have a problem. Let me disconnect this first and refresh. Mm -mm. All right, so let's reconnect it. Right now, is everything all right? Let's see. Right, it seems so because you have you can see the element counts are set back to zero and my arrow count is not updating. Let's check what's this error. Okay, so for the arrows, right, for the arrows, I need to plug some value the arrow count which one is that this one Okay, and I can't plug it here because these are right. These are widget element types, and this arrow count is just a text. So I'm gonna have to replace this arrow count with a widget element. Let me quickly do that. Let's duplicate this one and I'll call it WDG arrow. Oh, well, and I'll how to change this. Yeah, here I'll just use none for the texture oh, and maybe I can hide it set visibility to hidden All 
right now I can use this WDG arrows in my HUD widget like this so this is my arrow count and then I can use this one like this so I don't need this arrow text anymore let's see all right still I need to get rid of that so I'll just delete this uh, arrow text arrow count text and what's the arrow? error okay I don't need this one anymore That's another error. PP hard. Right. It's also about the arrows. Where else do we have problems? Yeah, it seems everything is all right now. Let's see. Right now, arrow count is updating. and it's not going beyond 6 why is that yeah I think something is wrong in my BPI inventory in my inventory blueprint and update resource count UI Part. right this is the problem when I do this add to inventory right I don't need this part anymore and I'm gonna change it like this I should call this one for this update resource count part like this and let's break these things and connect resource index like this and the count should come from this one right now here yeah now here when I do the add to inventory I need to do this find value of the given type and get the count and wait and add it to the given amount and set it 
right and then just call update resource count right so we don't have to do this part also we can completely get, get rid of that and connect this and connect this now everything should be fine let's see wait there is an error all right infinite loop and that to inventory right this one I don't need this one anymore add just call add with the resource index and this and connect them like this right all right now the values are updating okay so graphite and everything i haven't done them yet these are just dummy values and yeah i have another error let's see What's the error? Access none trying to read property temp object variable 5. In the widget heart. Alright, maybe the issue is this. I need to do an is valid here before calling this update count. Now everything should be fine. All right. Yeah, no more errors. And yeah, I'm going to stop it here. And so in the next episode, I'm going to show you this when I play the game and when I press tab this inventory menu will be opened and I'm gonna dynamically change these resource values so that uh, yeah I can after that I can craft elements so this part this episode is about kind of refactoring our code to get it back to a proper architecture and fixing issues so that I can completely move my inventory related functions from the character class to the inventory blueprint so that's the main purpose of this object and I know it's it have been a little bit boring and too long but it was necessary to keep the architecture clean in my game so that's why I did it even though it is it took some time and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye